السلام عليكم اهلا بكم طلاب الاعزاء today we will talking about bullion ring and we will explain what's the meaning of the bullion ring bullion ring is a type of a ring before we define the bullion ring and explain the bullion ring we will define some important definition idempotent element An element x in a ring R is called the idempotent if x square equal to x. So the idempotent element satisfies the condition x square is equal to x. The important element an element x in a ring R is called the important if x of power n is equal to zero for some positive integer n. So the important element satisfies the following condition. X of power n is equal to zero, and the n is positive integer n. We note that if R is a ring with unity, then zero and one are idempotent elements, since zero square is equal to zero and one square is equal to one. So zero and one satisfies the idempotent element condition. Also, we note that zero is an idempotent element. Because zero of power n is equal to zero, so we can note that zero is an idempotent and nilpotent element in the same type. But one or the unity is the idempotent element only. Problem: In an integral domain R with unity, the only idempotent are the zero and unit. Unit is equal to one. So we want to prove that in an integral domain R, the only idempotent element are zero and one. What's the meaning of integral domain? Integral domain is a commutative ring which has no zero divisor. And we will, and we study before the zero divisor. The zero divisor meaning is that if we find a b equal to zero and a and b doesn't equal to zero, then a And the B are called the zero divisor. Now we will solve this problem. Let X belong to R be any idempotent element. So X will satisfy the condition for the idempotent element. So X squared is equal to X. If we added the inverse of X for the two sides of this relation, we will have X squared minus X equal to zero. So, we if we use the distributive law for the ring, we will have x multiplied by x minus one is equal to zero. Since the ring is an integral domain, so this ring has no zero divisor. So this means that x is equal to zero or x equal to one. So we prove that the only idempotent element. In the integral domain is zero and one. Now we will define the Boolean ring. The Boolean ring, a ring R is called the Boolean ring if it consists only of the idempotent element. So the Boolean ring is called a ring is called the Boolean ring if all elements are idempotent elements. Ah, uh, so Boolean ring is a ring. Which all elements are satisfies the condition x square equal to x. A Boolean ring is a ring if x square is equal to x for all x belong to R. Example for the Boolean ring: a ring of integer modulo two consists only of idempotent elements. Since Z two is consists of Two elements, zero bar and one bar, and we know that zero bar is idempotent element and one bar is idempotent element because zero bar is equal to zero and one bar is equal to one. So the integer modulo two is an Boolean ring because it consists is consists only of the idempotent element. Problem. Show that the Boolean ring is commutative, or show that the ring with idempotent element is commutative. These two sentences have the same meaning. 
we want to show that the Boolean ring is connected. I.e., we want to prove that if x and y belong to R, then x y is equal to y x. To prove this, this we will follow the following steps. Let x and y belong to R be any element in a Boolean ring. Hence, every point or every element in a Boolean ring is a dependent element, then x and y satisfy the condition x squared equal to x and y squared equal to y. Also, we note that x and y belong to R, so from the closure condition, x plus x and y plus y and x plus y is belong to R. Since x plus x and y plus x and x plus y belong to R, then this all elements are satisfies the condition for the idempotent element. So x plus s x is equal to x plus x squared. So x plus x is equal to x plus x multiplied by x plus x. So we have x plus x x is, is equal to the following relation. If we, we substitute our, or we replace every x squared by x from the condition of the idempotent element, we will get x plus s x is equal to x plus x plus x plus x. When we use the cancellation row with respect to addition, we will have that 0 is equal to x plus x, so x equal to minus x. Similarly, we get ly is equal to minus y. And also we have that x plus y is belonging to r, and the r is Boolean ring. So x plus y is a dependent element. So x plus y is equal to x plus y squared. So we have x plus y is equal to the following relation. And we have x plus y is equal to x. If we replace x squared by x, we will have and y squared by y. We will have the following relation. By the cancellation law, with respect to addition, we cancel we cancellation law x with x, and we, we cancel uh, cancel the y by y. So we will have zero equal to x y plus y x. So we will have x y is equal to minus y x. But we have y equal to minus y. So x y is equal to yx. From this condition, we prove that the Boolean ring is commutative ring. From this condition, xy is equal to yx for all y and x belong to R. We prove that R, a Boolean ring is commutative ring. Problem, if R is a Boolean ring, show that 2a equal to 0 uh, for all a belong to R. Solution: Since R is a Boolean ring, since R is a Boolean ring, so for all a belong to R, a square is equal to a. Want to prove in a Boolean ring, 2a is equal to zero for all a belong to R. So Every element in the Boolean ring will satisfy two conditions. First condition is a square is equal to a because all elements of the Boolean ring is idempotent element. And the second condition is 2a is equal to zero. We want to prove this condition. Since r is a Boolean ring, then for all a belong to r, a square is equal to a. Because every element in the Boolean ring is idempotent element. Also, we know we know that if a belongs to R, then a plus a belongs to R from the closure condition. Since a plus a is belong to R, then a plus a is idempotent element. So a plus a square is equal to a plus a. 
2 we have a plus a multiplied by a plus a equal to a plus a. So we have the following relation. If we replace every square by a, we will have the second, the, uh, this relation. If we use the cancellation law with respect to addition, we will have a plus a is equal to zero. So a plus a is equal to 2a, then 2a is equal to zero. So we prove that if R is a boolean ring, then if R is a boolean ring, then this boolean ring is commutative and 2A is equal to 0 for LA belong to R. Example Let BX be the set of all subsets of a non empty set X. This set is called the power set of X. If a or b belong to b x, we define a plus b is equal to a union b difference a intersection b, and a multiplying b is equal to a intersection b. We define addition and multiplication on b x by the following relation. Then b x is a commutative ring with identity. This identity is equal to the Set X and the zero element of the string is the empty set phi. We note that the unity of this string is X, the set X, and the zero of this string is the empty set phi. Because if we added A plus phi, A plus phi is equal to A union phi. Difference A intersection phi. A union phi is equal to A. Difference A intersection phi is equal to A. So A difference A. A intersection A intersection phi is equal to phi. So A difference phi is equal to A. So we note that A plus phi is equal to A. And A dot x is equal to a so the identity of the b ring bx is x and the zero element of bx is phi this ring is a boolean ring which contains zero divisor we will explain this sentence this sentence so that set that this the ring the ring bx is boolean ring which contains zero divisor. We will explain this uh, sentence. This sentence says that b of x, bx or power set is boolean ring. So there are some important properties for this ring R for L. For all a belong to bx, a square is equal to a intersection a because we define the multiply of any element of the power set is divided by a dot b is equal to intersection b. So a square is equal to a intersection a equal to a. So a square is equal to a. So every element in the power set or the ring bx is I the potent element. So the ring BX is boolean ring. Also, we know that for all A belong to B power uh, set X, we know that 2A is equal to 0 is equal to 5. Because 0, we say that the 0 element of the ring BX is 5. We know we see that before. We say before that the zero element of this ring is empty set phi. So 2a is equal to 0 equal to phi because 2a for all a belong to x, 2a is equal to a plus a. a plus a is equal to a union a difference a intersection a. So 2a is equal to 0. So the Commutative ring Bx satisfy the idempotent element. The condition 
of the isobotent element all element in Bx are isobotent element so this ring is called the border ring also we find that 2a is equal to 0 and we know that the boolean ring Bx has no has zero divisor has zero divisor has zero divisor if phi if a and b doesn't equal to phi and belong to power set x such that a intersection b is equal to phi we say this condition to deduce that a intersection b is equal to phi then a dot b is equal to a intersection b equal to phi equal to zero i.e. a dot b is equal to zero so we note that a and b are zero divisor because a and b satisfy the condition of zero divisor because we let that a and b doesn't equal to phi and then a will be belong to bx so a intersection b is equal, equal and we let that a intersection b is equal to phi i.e. a and b are disjoint set so a dot b is defined by a intersection b is equal to phi and phi is equal to zero because phi is the zero element of the boolean ring bx so we know that a dot b is equal to zero and a and the phi doesn't equal to zero so a and b are zero divisor of bx for example if x equal to a or b so the power set of x is equal to the set of all subset of this set so b of x is equal to x and phi and set uh, a and set b if we know that the set contains a and the set contains b doesn't equal to phi and belong to bx and we know that the set contains a intersection the set contains b doesn't is equal to phi the intersection is equal to phi so the multiply of these two sets are equal to zero because the multiply of any two sets in the power set is equal to the intersection and phi is equal to zero so we know that but we know that in that this set the set contains a doesn't equal to phi i doesn't equal to zero and b doesn't equal to phi i.e b doesn't equal to zero so from this condition we find that the two sets are multiply of the two sets are equal to zero but these two sets are doesn't equal to zero so these two sets are zero divisor of bx and every set in in this case are element of bx so bx has zero divisor has zero divisor so we deduce that bx is a commutative ring with unity this unity is equal to x and with zero element this zero element is equal to phi and the bx is a boolean ring and bx has no zero divisor as we show so in this case we uh, define the boolean ring and we take some examples about the boolean ring uh, thank you uh, for uh, this uh, يعني, discussion and we will uh, take after that about the characteristic of the ring